A lot of developers forget about record locking when designing a solution. When a user in a multi-user solution is editing a record, nobody else can edit that record. They also can't delete that record. The person who has control of it has control of it until they commit it. Certainly people can view the record and search the record, but they see the old information, not the new information. So let's show you the basic idea behind it, how it happens manually, because FileMaker handles everything for you manually. It's only when you get into scripting that you really have to concern yourself with record locking, but we have to start off with the definition. So let's show you how to test for record locking to really understand it. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to connect to ourselves. FileMaker allows you to actually share to yourself so you have two windows on the same screen, two different users. That's so you don't have to put the file up on FileMaker server or have a second machine to test record locking issues. And it's really simple to do. Just go to the file menu, choose sharing, share with FileMaker clients. And this is absolutely the same way you do this if you're sharing to other people because you can share to a few users using the regular FileMaker Pro. You don't actually need FileMaker server, but I always recommend FileMaker server because it's more robust, does backups, has all kinds of features. So we turn network sharing on all users just to make sure we can specify by privilege set but all you we're just doing in test mode right now go to the new host dialog and you'll see under the local section it may be a little bit different if you're not on filemaker 17 you'll see your server or your name of your machine and there's that file we'll open it enter one two three four and admin And now we have two windows open. Notice the difference in the name. Well, it's actually because we're naming the window, we don't notice the difference in the name. But normally there'd be a difference in the name where one would say user. And it, you know, we can't show it right now, so it's best at this point um, to remember which one. Actually, it doesn't even matter which window is which. One, technically, the one in the background is the host, and this is the guest, but we can test record locking in both directions. And we're going to do that by getting on the same record. So I'm going to go back to this one and show all records go to the first record and now we're on exactly the same one and what I'm going to do is come over here and show you look I can go ahead and edit this record and then come over here and edit this one it's only when I edit this one and don't exit out of it and then try to edit this one that it's going to give me a record locking so it's telling you that this person is actually editing this record and you can send them a message if you want to try to get them off of most likely with they're out at lunch and they forgot to commit the record so that's your basic record locking right now as soon as I let go of this one and that can be done by clicking anywhere where there's not a field switching to a different record I can hit the enter key on the keypad I can close the file I can switch layouts all those things will commit the record and then that other person will then at that point be able to come in here and start typing into it it's also important to note that when you have a record or control, nobody else can delete it. Not just edit it, but they can't delete it either. So you see if I try to do that, it's going to say it can't be performed. So those are the two major areas of record locking. But there's a few more things you want to know about it. For instance, let's go over here and see what happens with the portal. I'm going to come over here to our notes and we'll put in a note here call it test come over here and try to edit something over here and you see it telling me that that records locked as well even though we're trying to edit something on a completely different record and even though the portals from a different table FileMaker sees it on this layout as from the same table and I'll show you what I mean by that if we come over here to this layout mode we'll get into layout mode here there we go and switch to that source table notes go to that record called test right that was the last one we created they're in creation order put a 2 in there and then try to come over here and edit this it's not going to have a problem so you see how the things are different as far as record lock can go you have to know the ins and outs there's lots of different concepts about it here's one more you may want to know let's go ahead and get back into layout mode 
switch back over to this layout put a field temporarily on the layout this will be one of our global fields go back to browse mode remember when you enter values into a global field and you have to make sure you have allow access to it so let's go down here and make sure we can get in browse mode when you enter a value in here let's put an X in there it goes to every single record right I change it here to a Y and on every single record it's changed so we're gonna to come to this same record as we have in the other window change it to an X and you gotta remember that when you lock something it's not just clicking into the field it's actually starting in the edit process you can click into the field and that does not actually lock the record but it's not the same with the global field I just edited this record in the global field and I can come over here and you see there's no value in here because it's a different user that means that global fields are global fields are local to the person who's connected to the system so I can put an A in here no problem that'll be the same A on everywhere it works the same way but in no way does it affect this other window so therefore it doesn't cause record logging so global fields are a great great way to put interface into a multi-user scenario and you can see how that affects our notes where we have these filters here we can filter on different values this person's filtering on warm this person over here in the other window can come over here and filter on something completely different so there's your basics about record locking I want to make sure you understand that this is just the manual thing you have to do nothing this is built into FileMaker at this point what you do have to concern yourself with is scripting which we'll cover next